Uh, my name's Timothy Parsons and I've been in the stunt industry for about five years. First Matrix, um, that's what sparked my interest in film and just want to know how it was made and all that kind of stuff. Getting the DVD extras and looking at um, all the action. I was an extra on a commercial and there was a guy uh, snowboarding off the side of a house and that was the first time I ever talked to a stunt coordinator and found out about the MEA grading. And so with the um, MEA grading procedure, so you just need to show proficiency in about, um, in about five different categories. So there's falls, uh, so there's body control, there's two subcategories, so it's like fights and then just like, like dance or something like that. There's heights, there's water, and there is animals if like you can ride a horse and stuff like that, and then there's driving. In Australia, it is definitely like you can't work without being MEA graded. Uh, in, the, in the States, for example, you don't, they don't really have a grading system. Uh, in Australia, it's definitely, definitely like probably the most important thing. <laughs> the biggest mistake is not rehearsing uh, slow enough. Something that is always impressed on, on newer guys um, by stunt coordinators is just is slow it down. We, we, you know, when you're new to any job, you're, you're really excited. You, you want to go in and do your best and all that kind of stuff. I've probably one of my biggest rookie mistakes is we were rehearsing a uh, rehearsing just a small fight for a TV show and it was like my first day I was really really excited and I was asked to do a roundhouse kick really basic kick and I did it so hard during rehearsal that I just slipped off my own feet and landed on my butt in front of the director the producer the DOP and everyone's a case on a I think it was hangover 2 it was really well publicized uh, a stunt performer um, there was a, a head-on collision uh, basically he his head got cleaned up by a truck. He survived very luckily, but he wasn't able to do stunts anymore just because uh, that injury just stopped him from being able to, to work, you know, at the, the mental capacity that you'd need. Uh, I've seen I've, I've seen some pretty bad injuries, but it was all during training, like knees going the other way and all that kind of stuff. But because of the way the industry is run now, um, back in the 70s, it was all about, you know, swig of whiskey before flipping a car and all that kind of stuff but the stunt coordinators they go to a lot of effort to make sure that there's no injuries the best advice i would give is do it because you love film and don't do it for any kind of fame like you need to have a really a really specific attitude to want to get into stunts like you want to have to be a team player really driven really motivated and you have to love film